one last thing to talk about tonight. One of the most beloved animals in our state. I'm not talking about dogs or cats or bears or wolves, no. I'm talking about fireflies. My wife and I were talking recently and asking each other, you know, where did they all go? I, I just don't seem to see as many of them anymore. I, I convinced myself that maybe when you grow up and the mag magic of, uh, of youth fades a little bit, you just stop noticing those sorts of things. Unfortunately, the truth is much sadder. I'm from West Virginia, and back there we, uh, we call them lightning bugs. There's nothing more beautiful on a summer night. Kids running around, catching them, filling up one of mom's mason jars. It's just such a quintessential summer thing to do. Every year, Grandfather Mountain hosts events for people to come and see the synchronous fireflies. They come out right around this time every year. What makes these fireflies so special is that they synchronize their flashing light patterns. Thousands of people come to North Carolina to the mountains there to see this every single year because it's mesmerizing and beautiful and just a gorgeous part of nature. And you might want to book your trip now because fireflies in more populated areas are dying their populations are decreasing and, and doing so because of people, because of drought and habitat loss and pesticides, all of those are problems. One of the biggest problems though is light pollution. You see fireflies, they glow for a reason. They use that little blink to communicate. Different light patterns mean different things. They attract mates, they warn of predators, they defend their territory, and if there's too much ambient light around, so your house, the porch lights, your cars, street lights. Well, these little guys can't communicate. They can't defend themselves. They can't reproduce. And then there aren't any more of them. A recent study analyzed this in excruciating detail and found that we may be the last generation to see them light up in certain areas and that it might take a drive to the mountains just to see one. How sad is that? So, so what can we do? What can you do in your backyard, for instance? Well, you can turn off the outdoor lights, avoid using pesticides out in the lawn, there's also groups like Circe Society. Their mission is firefly conservation. Look them up, spend some time, search their website a little bit. They have all kinds of, of projects that you, can, that you can get involved with to help save our fireflies. 